Hello guys, I'm Visa Racer, and by this title I mean any engines that sound somewhat off the average you normally know, whether it is a race, sport or any other engine. They are not as recognized, which is a shame because they have their different style of charm and appeal, starting off with the Steyrpuk 500. Company Steyrpuk saw that it is expensive to develop a new car after war, so they purchased a license from Fiat and created Puk 500 with their own engine, a boxer twin cylinder with 500 to 650 cc overhead valve train, single zenith carburetor and a bit different and better handling than the original Fiat 500. There was first a soft top version which was meant to attract bikers to come along and buy one and there was also a more powerful version meant for police which actually sold as a normal car. It also raced under homologation in group 2 competing against the original Fiat 500 Abarth. One interesting thing is that some versions had a suicide doors. Next one is Volvo D5, a 5 cylinder diesel engine which was mainly sold as a 2.4 litre but there was a 2 litre as well. There was a variable geometry turbo or a two stage turbocharging. It was all aluminum and there was also a marine version produced which was almost the same as the road going engine. There was a different water cooled intercooler, a heat exchanger, different exhaust manifold and a heavier single mass flywheel. Please, if you are enjoying this content, consider subscribing, thank you. And also, feel free to check out my clothing website. Kawasaki Triple, uh, the H-series, a two-stroke, three-cylinder, three Mikuni carburetors and sound a bit similar to a 20B engine. <laughs> This motorcycle shocked the world and many established manufacturers by its straight line performance, which was very good for the time. It tended to wheelie up to 100 miles per hour and there was a weak point. The handling was not on par with the straight line acceleration and it was dangerous for inexperienced riders. One detail was inspired by MV Agusta and it was the individual triple pipes. <laughs> this one is very interesting, is the Mazda RX-4 a 6 rotor, 4 liter, naturally aspirated over 800 rear wheel horsepower engine that is meant for drag racing. It has a custom 5 piece crankshaft, the eccentric shaft, 6 to 2 to 1 exhaust header and peripheral porting. I don't know any other engine which sounds this interesting and nothing sounds like this engine. Maybe only the BMW M6 with the 6 rotor engine which has about half the power. Renault Volvo V6. The PRV V6 is an interesting engine. It was created in the 70s and was meant to be a V8 but then in 1973 an oil crisis came along and they chopped off two cylinders to make a V6. A odd V6 which had 90 degrees meaning there was an uneven firing intervals and rough and funky sound. 
It was until 1985 when they evened out the firing and it lost the interesting funky sound. It had a single or dual overhead cam, a carburetor or a fuel injection and its power ranged from 120 up to over 400 horsepower in uh, racing engines. <laughs> last one is very interesting, it's the AOS engine, a single rotor that has 4.9 cc of engine volume and about 1.3 horsepower at 17,000 rpm. It can rev up to 18,000 rpm and is usable as low as 2500 rpm. It is air-cooled, very lightweight, almost vibration-free and great for any small aircraft. It runs on glow plug and, well, that sound is like nothing on this world. If you know any other engines which sound this interesting and funky, submit it in the comment section and I will take a look at it and maybe feature it in the next video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers!